Don't forget that Britain joined the European Union later than all the others, almost 23 years later. So this is a special case. Um, Britain is not part of the Eurozone, not a member of the Schengen Zone, has many exceptions. So Britain had already in the past a very special relationship with the European Union. They are, of course, full members, but they don't feel their membership as the founding fathers of the European Union. And of course, with the crisis, um, with migration flows, Brussels and the European Union became some kind of, of scapegoat for all the problems arisen inside the European Union and in Britain. So it is a complicated process, but in any case, Britain leaving the European Union is a political amputation for the Union. It is the second or the third economy of the European Union. It will become the most populous country in a few decades of the European Union. It's a setback. The European project was a project that was considered to be irreversible. Now we know that it is reversible. So for us and for them, it is something we deplore deeply, but we have to make the best of it and look for a, a stable and a good relationship. You have three stages. The first stage is by the end of March, they will notify that they will leave and at the same time, they will give a flavor of what could be along, according to them, a future relationship with the European Union. This has to be considered as a sufficient basis for negotiation by the EU 27. We start the negotiations first on the separation treaty, how to extricate Britain from its rights and obligations, what are the, the rights and obligations of the EU citizens living in Britain, 3 million, and of the British citizens living on the continent, more than 1 million. What is the financial contribution Britain has to make for leaving the European Union? So this has to be finalized before Easter 2019, the divorce, the separation. And later on, we have to negotiate a free trade agreement and also other items as our cooperation on security, fight against terrorism and so on and so on, but mainly about free trade. It will take years, everybody knows this, a very complicated negotiation, uh, but we have to compromise and to find a working solution so that it is in the benefit of both of them. Of course, leaving the single market means for them that their agreement and their relationship with the European Union is less advantageous as before. That's the price to pay for leaving the European Union. But in any case, we have to create a spirit, a climate of trust. Otherwise, uh, we cannot reach the best agreement for both of the parties.